Why do I have to screw everything up? Why do I have to make everyone hate me? Why do I have to- Bella, are you okay? <laughs> Who are you? Just come out here, please. Okay. How do you know my name? That Charlotte girl told me. I, um, heard you crying and is everything okay? If you need to talk, I'm- <laughs> Oh, Holly. I wish I could be the girl who always says she's fine, but I can't. <sighs> Nothing is ever going right and I wish I never even went here. I feel like everybody hates me. To be completely honest, I feel the same. But sitting around here sulking isn't going to get you anywhere. And if you think I'm being rude, I'm not. But you need to toughen up and just get through it. It's not like you're the only one who doesn't want to be at Camp Bonsai anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I just wanted to make sure you were alright. See you, I guess. Hey, um, Holly? Yeah? Thanks, you know, for checking in on me. I don't even know you all that well. No problem. You know, if you need a RAN or something, I can give you my number. I can always talk to you. <laughs> I, I don't have a phone. I know. It's pretty lame. Oh. No, it's fine, I guess. Oh, and you know Charlotte, right? Yeah, what about her? Don't trust her. She's the main reason I hate this place. How come? Well, it's kind of a long story, but to sum it up, she's always being super annoying and mean. I don't even know how some people can tolerate her. I have to share a campsite with her. You do? No way. I mean, yeah, that's what she told me. Oh my dog, she's going to make you think I'm horrible. Don't do it. So I shouldn't like Charlotte? She threw me into a lake. What? Oh, jeez, okay. I, I won't talk to her. What about those other girls? The ones who act like they're dumb all the time? <laughs> Don't even go near them. Avoid them at all costs. They're her little minions. I'm actually sharing a campsite with one of them. Ew. Yeah. Now, Austin, the brown collie, he led me on, made me have feelings for him, and then started acting like a complete jerk. Wow, I hate people who do that. Now, Gray, that really tall gray dog, he's cool. He helped me out of a different lake that Charlotte's minions pushed me into the other day. Baxter, another brown dog, helped with my friends as well. Well, dang girl, why don't you just tell the camp counselors about all this? They won't believe me. She's always kissing up to them. Oh, gotcha. Well, thanks for giving me the scoop. Actually, not to sound nosy or anything, but I heard your friends talking about you when you left. Really? What were they saying? Well, first, can you tell me what their names are? The orange one's Riley, the pink one's Rosalind, but she goes by Rose. Okay, so from what I heard, Rose said how dramatic you were being, and Riley agreed. And then Rose said that you were going to come crawling right back to them. Wow, I thought they were my friends. I hate to say this, but you were being a little dramatic. Riley was trying, you know. I know, I let my temper get the best of me. I didn't know they would be talking about me like that, though. I say give them a little break. They'll realize that you wouldn't hurt their feelings on purpose. But I don't know what to say about them talking behind your back. Hey, do you want me to get us lunch after today's activity so we don't have to see them? I would like that. But I don't think I'll be participating today. What do you mean? Well, I'm just going to stay here until the activity is over. I just need some alone time right now. Are you sure? Positive. Alright, see it yourself. Bye, Bella. Bye, Holly. I could use Emma's phone. Uh, how do I even use this?
this thing. I've never even had a phone before, let alone using one. Ugh, there's a passcode? Hmm, maybe it's her birthday. But how am I supposed to know that? Oh, hey, there's an emergency call button. I'll just use that. Mom, it's me, Bella. Oh, my dog, Bella, I've missed you so much. How's camp going? Er, uh, it's great. Have you met any new friends? Yeah, just a few. That's awesome, honey. Is Camp Bonsai better than you thought it would be? It's worse. Sure, Mom. Is something wrong? No, I mean, no. Everything's amazing. Alright then, any boys you're thinking about? If you need to think about some yes. No, none, actually. How are Dad and Avery? They're doing alright. Oh, look, if you need to talk again, I'm all ears. I have an incoming call from my worker. I have to go. Bye, Bella. I love you. Be safe. Wait, Mom. Love you too, Mom. today and it would have been so satisfying to beat you. Which, by the way, I know for a fact that- Emma, I don't care what you have to say about your little scheme to beat me every single time. And what I was doing was none of your business. <laughs> like, whatever. I need to call Charlotte. Uh, what if it shows that I oh, shows that she just called me a minute or two ago. Why was my ringer off though? Oh well, I'll just like go meet her at lunch. What was close? <gasps> um, nothing. You can tell me, you know. I won't tell anybody. I used Emma's phone to call my mom and I was scared about her finding out. She almost did. You know you can delete the call history, right? I didn't know her passcode. Oh. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get lunch for us. Okay, sounds good. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Holly. You did awesome at the swim race today. Yeah, it was really fun watching you. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Okay, let's get to the point. How could you talk about your own friend like that? What? What do you mean? Stop acting like you don't know anything. I heard you talking about Bella today before we raced and yesterday when she ran away. Those things you both said about her were beyond horrible. Why were you listening to our conversations? Listen, new girl, you need to learn to butt out of people's business. Maybe it's a good thing that I heard. Because even though she was being dramatic, that in no way means you can call her an insecure, weird, homeschooled girl. And you, Rose? I know what you said, too. Uh, I, I gotta go. How could you? You said you wish she never even came to this camp and it would have been so much better without her. I thought you guys were her friends. Friends don't go trash talking behind their backs. She's been really mean to us and all she causes is drama. I mean, come on. She couldn't even show her face to us today because she was too much of a coward. I hope you both know that I'm telling her every single thing you both said. 
and there is nothing you can do to stop me. No, please don't. It's... <gasps> is somebody a little scaredy cat? Because I'm not joking when I say that I can see you trying to hide it. Can I talk to you, Holly? Oh, yeah. I was just leaving anyway. Bye, fakes. What was that all about? First of all, it's none of your business. And second of all, I know that you're not all you seem to be. But neither are Riley and Rose. What do you mean? According to Bella, they're just like you. Rude, manipulative, and only caring about themselves. What? what? I'm not like that. Oh, really? Because that's what I've heard. <sighs> Bella, you're gonna be dead meat. <gasps> dead meat? Like, steak? Can you, like, shut your tail before I flip out on you? No, but really, are you gonna make her steak? That sounds, like, really good right now. Ugh, just shut the fluff up. Ugh. What was, like, up with her? I don't know. Remember the swim race where she called me a white cheese ball? Sorry, Alice, but, like, that's kind of true. And I guess it's kind of mean, too. Ugh, shut your fur. Thank you, ma'am. Whatever. You can come in. I got you your lunch. Thank you so much, Holly. Now, Bella, I have some news to tell you. Riley and Rose aren't who they seem to be. Were they talking about me again? Today, before the swim race we all had, Riley called you an insecure, weird, homeschooled girl. Rose said she wished you never even came to this camp, and it would have been better without you. She said that you've been really mean to the both of them. All you cause is drama. You couldn't even show your face to them today because you were too much of a coward. Again, words from Rose. What? I don't believe you. You have to, honey. You need to know who your true friends are. I do. And you know what? You're my only true friend. I can't believe you've done all this for me, and I've only known you for a few hours. You truly are amazing, Holly. And I thank you for that. You know, even though I don't know you all that well either, I'm not gonna let some fake friends talk trash about you behind your back. Nobody deserves that. <laughs>